Welcome back to True Blue. If you live in Utah, most likely you're either a BYU fan or a Utah fan. And there's a good chance if you're one, then you don't like the other. Well, Tony Cook joins us to tell us how you can support your school, beat the opposition, and still do some good. That's right, Holly. Rivalry Week isn't all about sports. BYU and Utah have found a more civilized and charitable way to compete. Well, we collect food and money donations, and our attempt is always to beat the U. But, um, and in years past, every year we beat them with food collections, but we haven't in money. So right now, this year, we're really trying to focus on um, people donating money. The food bank can actually use money better than canned goods. Every dollar donated will translate into 15 to 20 pounds of food. Yeah, a dollar is just a minimum donation, and they can write their name and a comment and leave it on the wall. Okay. All of the money and the canned food donations go toward community action services, um, just locally here in, in Provo, and then that money and food goes to benefit all of Utah County. Okay. You can donate canned food at Macy's Grocery Store or buy a Ymark at The Bookstore, Del Taco, or any BYU Creamery. I donated, um, I donated on my grocery bill after I bought it. So. BYU has a history of victory, and this year, students are banking on a repeat. Well, we've been winning so far, let's keep, keep going, and maybe we can beat the U at money this time, too. Um, BYU's never lost to U of U, we're not going to this year. Just donating every time I buy food here. All right, you think BYU will win again this year? Oh, they better. If you're interested in donating, and you should be because then we beat Utah, you can drop off canned food at the tailgate party at the Hinkley Alumni and Visitor Center three hours before kickoff, or just buy one of these Ys at any participating location. And remember, Saturday is the last day to donate. They don't want donations at the game. Thanks, Tony. No